Oh yeah. Oh, it's a ten pounder. Shoot, I didn't think you would fall. What's going on folks? Joan Austin, you're back at it again with another fishing video. Haven't done a fishing video in a while. School, it's hard, I know, it's tough. It's been about like two weeks since I posted my last one. That, I think that was the, the river fishing. Anyway, I did the review and I promised it would come out. Boom, Sugaling reel, the Sugaling spinning reel. Today I promised that we would use it. I promise you guys. And I'm coming through with it. Put it on the Team Dial S finesse spinning rod. We're just gonna give this puppy a go and see how it fights against fish. I've caught one fish on it. But it wasn't that big, but if we can catch a tank, we'll see how it holds up. All we're using today is just some Gary Yamamoto Sankos that are over there. Those are the Sankos I threw at you at the beginning. And, and I got some size 4 Hawk Fist Circle hooks just to put those Sankos on. So boys, I don't want to make this intro too long. Let's just get out there and go catch some tanks. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah, and before we start, I know you guys have been wondering this. Uh, I'm going to go through my camera stuff right now. I'm just going to send it back to At Home Jonah. At home, Jonah, take it away. Thanks, Fishing Jonah. And so, yeah, we're gonna be explaining what I use for filming. And to be honest, I only, I just use this, strapped to my chest, boom. It works wonders, no, I'm just kidding. What I really use is this, just this GoPro Hero 6 Black. It's great for fishing, just strap it to my chest. I use this chest strap, it's got the case, and then it's got the little nut thing. Uh, I got it cheap off of Amazon, you can find a lot. I got a tripod right there. And then I'm, I'm gonna start setting my uh, GoPro up on here for Madden videos. And then of course I use my phone, which is what I'm recording with right now. And sometimes I use my dad, he has like a sports action camera and I use that sometimes. So yeah, that's pretty much it, it's not anything special. I just know you guys are wondering that. If you wanna more, know more stuff, comment below. And uh, I know a lot of you, some of you guys have been wondering, so if you have any more questions, just comment below and I'll get them to you. Oh yeah, and then, Sometimes I use this head strap and put it on your head like this. <clears throat> right like that, put the camera up there. Also cheap on Amazon, I got it with the chest strap. So yeah, that's pretty much all. If you have any more questions, comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. And, and so yeah, Fishing Jonah, take it away. Oh yeah guys, and if you haven't already, just go check out the review video up there. If you're interested in getting this reel, I go through like the details and stuff of that reel. So yeah, let's go fish. Alrighty folks, right behind me we got this pond. It's the pond I've been to so many times, look. You know that one, right? I think you do. So, I'm gonna put this size four Gamagatsu circle hook on. I'm gonna tie that palm or not, I'm gonna put it, we'll be ready to roll. Let's just come in here, snip, snip off that yum dinger. I mean, I wish I could go for a bit bigger size, but this will work for now. One thing I love about Gary Yamamoto's that uh, don't really happen with other stick baits and Senkos and stuff is that they can sink without a weight <clears throat> pretty fast. I learned that from uh, LJ, you already know him. He loves Yamamoto Senkos, so I finally, I finally got some and they're like my favorite Senko now. That's where I caught that five and a half pounder on the other, the last time I was here. Let's get out there, boys. As I did mention, the hook the hook it is pretty small. Look at how little hook points exposed. That's gonna be pretty tough there, but I think we can get it done. So without further ado, here we go, Suge Lang, spinning reel, twenty five bucks in the water. Let's. Let's see if we can fight any fish. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah, it's holding up great. There we go. Let's get it. Oh my gosh, did you seriously take my stinging Sanko? And he choked it. Well guys, there we go, first fish. That reel handed up real nicely. Not a big one, but we can take it. And September 1st, it's the start of spooky season. Already got a leaf on them. Leaves are falling everywhere. We'll name this guy, uh, Pumpkin, because, I don't know. It's Yagam. There he goes. Darn you, Pumpkin. You took my stupid Senko. 
I'm gonna take off the old yum dinger. I wanna try that, cause I don't wanna use too many Yamasenkos. I should do a Senko versus Senko test. What's the best Senko? Oh my gosh, dang it, dude. Let's see if he's still there. See, dude, I told you, this hook point, it's gonna be the death of me. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, no, he's just fighting hard. Reel's holding up nicely. Gonna loosen that drag a little bit. Dude, this fish is a fighter. It's like same size as the last one, a little bit chunkier. All right, well we got the hook, but dude, these little fish need to stop choke. They are, they're just hurting themselves right now. But who should we name this guy? Uh, let's see. We'll name him Little Leaf. Goodbye, Little Leaf. I'll give you a quick revive because, oh shoot, I got my socks on. Folks, you already know I love this place. This is this is one of the top ten places in uh, Joan Austin fishing history. This pond's a bit harder to catch fish, but it's got bigger fish. Boys, you know what day it is? It's Hog Day. It's absolute stinking Hog Day. That was a little bass. Just had to throw a quick hook set on them. Oh, you know what they say? You guys remember what they say. If you get a juicy cast, that's how to be a juicy bass. Thanks, son. All right, we're on the move again. All right, last time I was here, I got a grass bass right in here. There's like a two pounder. One eternity later. There's gotta be something lurking in here. It's just about who's hungry right now. Anybody, anybody want to volunteer? Anybody. Who's hungry? Oh, oh we got contestant number one. Ooh, he's tiny, but <clears throat> he was hungry. He <laughs> yes. Finally. Oh my gosh, it's a dink. Come here. Oh, absolute tank. Three bass, three dinks, and they've all swallowed it. It's a grass bass. It's, it's healthy, it's fat, it's dark colored. He was staying in the grass. See you, bud. Looks like they cleared out this part. It used to be super weedy over here. Come to this place, cause this place I had a decent one on. I got him to the bank and I kicked him. I was trying to unhook him and foot slipped and yeah. Straight nailed him. It was on accident, okay? Bro, how is no bass warped on this? Oh yeah. Oh, no way. Dude, I am telling you, I barely have to set the hook on these things. These things are absolute dinks. <clears throat> but they count as fish. Another dark colored bass. Uh, just throw this guy back. Fourth fish of the day. Gosh, we need to get at least a two plus. Did you see how lightly I had to set the hook on that thing? I went boop. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a tank. Holy cow, this is a fighter. 
Same size, of course. See how much drag he peeled? Oh my gosh. Hey, okay. First one that didn't hook itself deep. Let's go. Oh, shoot. There you go, head first. Bro, look at all these leaves already falling. Dude, what happened to this spot? I had faith in it. It can't just let me down like this. Got some of that Jonah Ocean fall ASMR. One eternity later. It's bigger, it's bigger, it's bigger. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a 10 pounder. Alrighty, folks. There we go. Cheers. Doink. We'll name this guy pumpkin number two. We caught it in the same spot as pumpkin number one. This guy's a bit bigger, but not bad. Guys, I played you. In the intro, you thought it was a 10 pounder. No, nah, I just loosened my drag. I, you just got jonahed. Get absolutely finessed. This guy's no 10 pounder. It's like a one, but it's a fish. Yog him. Folks, that is gonna be all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, Hit that like, hit that subscribe, please. It'll mean a lot. Comment what you want to see next. And uh, comment below if you want a part two to this video. If I wasn't uh, like clear enough. Uh, or like if you if if you have any questions about the reel. Just uh, comment down below and I'll be happy, happy to answer them. I used to average like, like 80 something. Now I average like 50 something. Please. My like testing the Guggen base that has like 180 views. Like... Where are those views coming? Come on, get this video at the top of trending. Come on, you can do it, guys. You can do it. Share to all your friends. Share my channel to all your friends. Have them all sub, please. So, yeah, if you want a part two or you're asking any questions, just uh, comment below. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. I gotta go. See you in the next video. I hope it'll be soon. So, fish them hard. Have a good day.